Without further ado, I'd like to welcome to the stage owner of Urban Body from the West Midlands. Let's give a big round of applause to Phil Evans. Thank you, Cam. So I've been asked to uh, firstly talk a bit about myself and my journey uh, and then introduce Paul. So, yeah, I didn't realise it had been since 2018. I had to ask Ed, actually, earlier how long we've been part of this. Um, but, yeah, 2018 seems like a lifetime ago, but it's actually not. And at the time, I was still working um, in uh, elite sport, and I had my business as a bit of a side hustle. And I came across Paul, probably like most of you, on social media, where you get hooked in with a free download, and then that free download turns into loads of emails. And <laughs> but the emails just absolutely spoke to me. It was like, oh my God, this is everything that everything I'm hearing, as in I can't find leads, all this sort of stuff. So um, I decided to get involved in, I think it was the business growth school. And at the time, everything I needed was really tactical because that's all I thought I needed. So I implemented a lot of that quite quickly. And straight away, I was getting results. I was like, okay, I need to go to a mastermind. Went to the mastermind, and it was, at the time, really quite small. There was about eight of us in Hartlepool. And I was definitely the, the smallest business in the room, which was fantastic for me to grow. And I just remember going around the room and asking about how much we charge. And at the time, it was like 35 quid, and I was like literally laughed out of the room. So I was like, yeah, I needed to hear that. So that was the sort of thing that I needed to hear to go sort it out. Um, and so from then, it's been strength to strength. We've gone from very tactical to then all of a sudden quite strategic, which is the beauty of, of, of these events. Obviously going through COVID, very challenging, but very grateful to, to be part of this community at that time. Um, and where are we now? So... Um, I've now got a much bigger clinic. There's nine of us, as opposed to just me doing two days a week. Ops manager. Life's a lot uh, easier. You know, don't get me wrong, there's always challenges, different challenges as we grow. Um, but very grateful to be, be here today and uh, love the masterminds. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Paul Goff. Here he is. Um, yeah, so very grateful for your help and uh, guidance over the last six years. Can't believe it. Well done. Thank you very, very much. Well done. <laughs> Great story. Um, stories are the... Are the um, in fact, let me share this with you. Chris, uh, Chris, one of our new coaches, shared this at the um, annual planning that we did for our team. We had about 40 people in the room, and he said... Um, the stories of the business are really the culture of the business. The uh, it's almost like religion. It's the, the the stories of religion are the things that we buy into and the things that kind of shape what we do and um, what we believe and you know how we behave and all these types of things. And the stories of these communities are exactly the same. So Phil's story and um, hopefully you'll hear another one tomorrow. Um, and any story you've had in the past, they're basically the um, the you know the the history of the business, if you like, that we need you to understand and want you to hear the stories of somebody charging 35 quid when he first comes into the business and um, has a little bit of a shake up in his thinking and um, how he's going to run his business and you know how he wants to make his money. Like These things have been going on for years in some of these businesses that some of you are brand new to us. Some of you are two months in, some of you are first session in or first event with us. So the stories of the business, they're so important for you to understand and the, the sort of depth sometimes when you see Phil now, he's flying, he's doing amazingly well, he's had a great team, he's fired a few people, a few things might not have gone exactly according to plan, um, but he's got a wonderful business and he's got a great foundation with which to, to set himself up for the next 10, 15, 20 years, if you like, and I think that's what business is about. So when we share the stories, that's what it's for, it's for you to kind of really understand what, what we're about and where we've come from and um, sometimes it's overwhelming to look at somebody who's so successful and think, I'll never get there. Like You need to hear the fact that somebody walked in a room and was was almost kind of like, what the fuck, Phil? Like, 35 quid, is this for real? Do you know what I mean? Do you like making money or do you just like working for free, right? Um, so Phil is, is great and I absolutely love him. His team, brilliant and um, wonderful to have you here. So a round of applause for, for Phil. 